We're starting with a Cowboys W. Cowboys sneak past the field goal loving Giants 20 to 15. Dak throws for 221 and two touchdowns. Brew put a grade on the Cowboys performance, please. It's a sad day. Oh. It's a sad day because what? it's now clear. All right. Like What's the it? last two losses, they were losses. Yeah. But let's be honest. We could brush off the blowout loss to New Orleans. It's, it happens. F game. F game. Mm -hmm. e even the top teams, a lot of them will have an F game here or there. The, the uh, Ravens obviously got blown out the first three quarters, but had the nice comeback. Had us think, okay, that's who the Cowboys are. All they got to do is bottle that. That's what they're going to be for most of the rest of the season. And that 12-win team, 11-whatever, they're here. Mm -hmm. But now, after 60 minutes yeah. of what you said, mediocre, ho-hum, so-so football against a bad team. And that bad team, I mean, God, God forbid they actually could score a touchdown. But that bad team, actually, Nick, had more first downs than the Cowboys, better third down efficiency than the Cowboys, more total yards than the Cowboys, and more time of possession by 11 minutes yep. than the Cowboys. And so I don't think I'm the only one. We all probably had a revelation last night that the Cowboys – are no longer fringe contenders. Wow. That the Cowboys are not going to win 12 games this year. That the Cowboys are ordinary, mid, yeah, mid. run of the mill. So here's the grade. It's sad because it was fun when we thought they were good. Yeah. And then we could mock them for the F game. They get a C for common. Common. Oh, that's what the Cowboys. You, they're common. They don't. The, the they don't one, they're have common. to be acronym related, no, right? I it know, but that they're common. Helps okay, them. that's what they are. Uh, oh, all right. Great. So I, I have a lot to say about that. However, before I go, I actually think America's more interested in Kevin Wild's take on the Cowboys after last night because, if I may infringe on your trademark for a moment, oh. Wilds famously called the Cowboys not mid or common yeah. or any of those things. He called them a lionfish. Well, cooked one. A uh, cooked lionfish. <laughs> that does. So, I, I, so I'm just curious. <laughs> horrible. Are meal. they still last night? We can show you. You were worried about their run defense. Yeah. We can. Last night, they had the best run defense any team's had in the league all year. Yeah. Are they still? Are we supposed to be impressed I, Yeah. Now well, no, they're 27. Devin no, single no, hold on. They wait, wait, Devin wait, hold on. Bro, I, oh, wait a moment. Put the Is, single in Singletary. One hold yard. On, hold on. Can I, can I say, can we be fair for a moment? That their new rankings are irrelevant to the performance last night. True. There have been 49 football games played in the NFL this year. The fewest rushing yards given up by any team in those 49 games was the Cowboys last night. Fewest yards per rush was the Cowboys last That's night. Fair. So, I, I asked well, Wilds, full of can they be upgraded to – Listen, I don't think <laughs> I mean, you're going to give them bluefin tuna. No, God no. But, but what about red snapper? Red can snapper they be that? still too good. Still too good. <laughs> oh, you're there? Well, I don't, that's all I've got. I'll tell you what they are. I, I got nothing else. What do they got? They're still the, – What do they got? Thank you, Wilds. Thank well, you. Hold on. What are you going to go? Nick didn't C like – He wanted me to give him an A. C no. Cod. For edging. Cod. 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 Just a boring old – Plain okay. old there you go. Right. No, I don't, I don't want you, you go. I don't want you to give them Plain. an A. I I <laughs> my grade almost would have been S for survival to go along with what you were like to <laughs> go along this with your right. theme, so you, theme you're of it. Me. Yes. But you're I just I don't know sometimes who we are comparing the Cowboys to. Who in their conference brew looks great? Who? Not the Cowboys. Let, no. But who you want to demand you? Who looks demanded. better? You. But who looks? Who is not ordinary? I mean, San Francisco no. has the injury San issues. San Francisco has looked bad. Green Bay has looked good, considering it, they've been playing with not only their backup quarterback, it, but a guy that sure, can't throw. No, I, I. Well, and Malik's so, played well, okay, and so you but, give him credit. The, the, yes, no, but, you know, and you that's know a coaching thing. Sure, I, Green Bay. The concern, though, is of course their quarterback is hurt, and we'll have to see what he looks like. Detroit. Has not looked good. Golf is playing worse than he's played with them since he's been there. I just don't know who we're comparing him to. And if you're 
you, you were adamant and correct. They can't stop the run. You told me yesterday, you're an evidence guy. Yeah. And they th did. They, so if they that did. was their biggest weakness and they did it better yesterday than any team has done in any game all year, Brew, 24 so carries point, for 26 no, yards. They did that was fine. But to your point, there's a context. Yes. You weren't, that the whole league you is weren't playing a very good run team. The, what? Did did you were you under the impression that the Giants had a great run game? No, I thought that I thought the Giants run game was a little below league average, not the okay, worst so performance of any team in the league all year. What, that what, has to matter a little. One, which one of these scores doesn't fit? You tell me. 40 to nothing, 49 to 17 or 20 to 15. Feels like the 20 to 15 yeah, one is right. very mid and not impressive. So we're just not impressed. You didn't give him F. Because we're kind of comparing them. You, you asked who we were comparing to. And I, your point is fair. Nobody in the NFC has looked like the world beater. That, but I'm kind of comparing them, honestly, to the Cowboys of the past but few they, years. But that's, yeah. but that's, I guess, my, the point that I am trying to make is I, it would appear to me the defending champion Chiefs fail that test. Of the Chiefs of the last few years, they're right now through 49 games. Of, of I doubt. understand, but my point is the, the Niners. How do the Niners look compared to the Niners last they're year? They're hurt. How do they, if they're not? The, if they're not, right? They're they, not that's an excuse. It's just okay, a legitimate how, explanation. Okay, so let me. How do the Lions look? How do the Texans look compared to those teams of last well, year? I don't, what, uh, that, what bearing does that have the, on how good Dallas plays? Right. Well, because you because the we they are being measured against I, at least how I do it the teams with which they have to compete with. Oh, I'm measuring them against the expectations we had for a team that was supposed to have a, a, the most expensive, uh, one of the most expensive wide receivers, yeah. and most one the most quarterback. expensive quarterback, and America's team, and a running game that they ignored that kind of flared up on them, and a great defense that is now hurt and can't stop the run against the lowly Giants. I don't, yeah. I don't know how you can come away from that game being like, no, I, I said S for survival. What I the, I the point I'm trying to make is this is brute. You guys said yesterday that if they won 40 to nothing, it wouldn't matter. And now they win a game where they the biggest weakness they have had up to this point in the year, they reverse that, and it's like, okay, well, that didn't really matter no either. So, I mean, it's just if we're in that no, spot where. No, if they would have beat them 40 to nothing or something you, equivalent. I would have given them an A. But you told I wouldn't us it have wouldn't thought, have oh, they're they're gonna win the NFC now. But I would have given them an A and felt like, okay, this is who they have they been. Had a Jets performance but I don't even the think Patriots. they're what they were last year now. The, That's what I'm saying. Do, are you the, I don't think they're as the, good as they were last the, year. Do you right now or because I, I it seems like you think they're not a playoff team. Yeah. The, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I picked them to make the playoffs. But I'm like no, but given, but like right I'm not asking you to change your pick. Yeah. I'm saying, do you think they're a playoff caliber team the way they've played? Like Seven teams are gonna make it. Like to your point, nobody in NFC. I'm not saying they're not gonna make the playoffs, but they're common. That's what I'm saying. They're common. Okay. Um, Brew, I want to get your reaction. We went. We I, Brew, your reaction. I, I like Dak. I really do. But, I mean. <laughs> The reporter's job is not to keep the player's mindset positive. The reporters don't work for the Cowboys. They might be Cowboys beat writers, but they work for the Dallas Morning News, the Fort Worth Star-Telegram, so on and so forth. They don't get, they're not on Jerry Jones's payroll. They are supposed to report what is happening, good or bad. Be fair, but good or bad. And so so that's number one. And I don't know if Dak, may, he should understand it as a veteran. Yeah, I mean, of course. It, but I don't. I that was a little tongue in cheek, don't you think? I don't. I, I didn't uh, pick it up that way. I, I just maybe. don't even think you should say. I didn't think a it was tongue bit. in cheek. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought it was a little bit. I thought it was. Right, so so if, the, if, the, if the request to the reporters was tongue in cheek, I think the idea that the players are very interested in the narrative. Right. Oh, that I agree. And the, and, right. and the environment that is very, they're, that they're susceptible to outside noise. I think that was. That was going to be my so, next yeah, point. Sorry, but well, then yeah. I should have let, the, I, I totally agree with that concern. That Dak is voicing publicly that our team's morale or mentality can be impacted by the coverage, yes. but I don't the think he was actually They shouldn't asking. even be concerned the, they love the narrative, though. about the narrative. <laughs> But here's where, to me, this is a great example of what I've been saying for years, that Jerry Jones has created an environment, yeah. culture, that is inconducive to winning at the highest level. And that is, how are the players supposed to avoid the narrative when your owner speaks two or three times a week, two times a week, 
And you have to almost listen to what he said. He's the owner. So what is Jerry saying? So once you open yourself up to what Jerry said, now you open yourself up to all the responses, the narrative. It's like you can't avoid it. If, it's, if your owner's not speaking like that, you can kind of just say, I'm not even paying attention to anything. But when he speaks, he pays your paychecks. You kind of got to hear what he's saying, and that opens you up to yep. the narrative. So it, you're, they should not – the narrative should not even come out of their mouths unless they're kind of mocking it. Like, we don't care about the narrative. You, that's for you guys. Yeah. They care, unfortunately. Dallas's defense uh, looked better but got some bad news about Demarcus Lawrence's foot injury and Micah's high ankle sprain. Tom Pelissero reporting that both stars – are expected to be out until after the week seven bye. That was before we knew yeah. what was going on with his ankle. So your reaction to Micah and the injury news? Well, listen, I think that the, until the pass defense starts making splash plays, they are going to look very common. Like, this is a team that is going to sink or swim in the passing game on both sides of the ball. One of the things we didn't mention in the first 12 minutes of the show, but and I should have, was I, C.D. Lamb, as requested, finally yep. had an yep. explosive game. Yep. The Dak-C.D. combo on offense has to be great, and the Tank Lawrence-Michael Parsons pass rush on defense has to be great. Now, DeMarcus had a decent game till he got dinged. Micah's stat sheet doesn't look great, but on a huge play, he drew that holding penalty, and he was more disruptive in this game than he had been in yep. earlier games. But them both, be, their next two games are Pittsburgh and Detroit. Without, so they're missing the next two games. Well, I mean, it's not the, the reports. Pelissaro right. says it looks like because their bye is week seven. This was week four. And so, and then after the bye is San Francisco. So that they, this Cowboys D line without those two guys instantly becomes the worst D line in football. And so, like, that now I think they could, they can split those games even without those guys. It's going to have to be all, you know, it's going to have to be Dak and CD being great. And I don't think that's a disaster for them. I think being three and three through no. six, their, their Vegas projection for whatever it's worth for the season was to be two and two through four because they were underdogs in two of these four mm -hmm. games. Uh, and so that's not, that's not a disaster. But this defense has to can improve and get Zimmer's scheme down and having those two guys missing time probably stunts that progress. Yeah, they're in trouble. You're right. Three and three isn't a disaster. No. Is two and four? Two and four yep. is, yeah. I mean, I hear you. Maybe they can. I don't think they beat Detroit without those two guys. I agree. I, I don't know if they Pittsburgh. beat them with those two guys. Yeah. Pittsburgh, they could I win. Mean, they could win that. They game. could, yeah. but they also could lose, and I don't yeah. think any of us yeah, would be surprised. Pitch, I don't know how many points Pittsburgh. Right, that's the on. thing. But with, with their defense missing their two best players now, maybe yeah. or at least two of the, their best players, yeah. Pittsburgh's gonna have a chance to score on them. They they run the ball too, and obviously Justin Fields is a is a running threat. I think there's a very good chance they go two and four, or they end up two and four, and then they're in deep trouble. All right, uh, let's talk about the Chiefs. America's real team in my book. Uh, Chiefs are seven-point road favorites against a banged-up Chargers squad Sunday afternoon. Mahomes talked about Travis Kelsey's production. I know he's on the record as saying, like, so I can say a lot of nothing of, like, yeah. media management. I think he's just said exactly what is going to happen right there, 100% the truth. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, yeah. Chargers defense allowing 11 points a game. It's Kansas City's offense on dud watch. Wow. I, Dud, we've been doing this show watch. for seven years and a month. I didn't make this. We've done. Actually, we, we've didn't done. Yeah, that's this just question. you. The, okay, well, this, this show has existed for question. seven years and a month. <laughs> we do about 240 shows a year. Yeah. So we're so 20. Ca call it. Yeah, decades. exactly right. Good call. <laughs> um, so we're, you know, round 17, 1800 shows. Yeah. I think this is the dumbest question we've ever asked. <laughs> that's a good day. So, then. um. The, the level of disrespect <laughs> yeah. thrown at this Chiefs team, not based on their history, based on their season, mm. is wild. Hey, Siri, please show me a list of all teams that have scored 21 in every game this year. We'll show it to you. It's four teams. The Vikings got their MVP on the, I'm sorry, their quarterback on Bruce Ballot. Oh, yeah. The Bills have their quarterback on Bruce Ballot. The Seahawks, Brew oddly, can't stand their quarterback no, for reasons we haven't quite figured out. Overs. And what do all those teams all have in common? They're all undefeated. 
Oh, oh, we've just laid flowers at everyone's feet, except for the team who has the best coach of them all, the of those teams, the best quarterback with respect to Josh Allen, a, sure. established everything, and, and played far and away the hardest schedule. And we're like, oh, they're broken. They're, I, they're, I don't know they're, far and away. I don't know. Viking schedule wasn't super easy. The... Who did the Vikings play in week one? Remind me. Houston and 49ers. Uh, and week one week was one. the Giants, who you guys just said stink. Well, they, week one, surprise the, 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 Okay, so the – and – It's expectations. The, I mean, get, what are we talking about? I'll tell you. Tell me. Oh. Chiefs this season, chunk plays. And this is what I sent you That's, on Twitter, but you didn't want to click Because I – because what, what – I think it's interesting. <laughs> Joseph, I bro. don't care. It's something – and not, Put if this through this not if they're the four, if one they were three and zero, as Henry McKenna said, people would be freaking out. But, but what? But, but you're leaving. <laughs> but they are. Nothing. You're acting okay. like you're winning on thirteen to nine. I, I, Does my graphic mean nothing to you? That they're one of four teams. Yes, they're winning. Games, yes. No, that's not. But that's not winning. Something. That's not winning. That's points. Yeah, there's it, one it, points. Well, then what are we? What, because this is something. Because we're like, we're gonna be at long plays. We're gonna be explosive. Patrick Mahomes said, I want to have fun. I was winning last year, and we, everybody. Was like he's going to air it out. Yes. He's going to put up big numbers. That's and, why he's number one in MVP. And so far, and, and then, this hasn't been happening. That's all something. I, I think I can bring this together. I think I can get you, both bro. of you to that's agree what, with me. That's okay. what we need. Right? I, I, don't I, want I do it. have to say this, Wilds. As long as Patrick Mahomes is in his prime, the Chiefs will never be on dead watch. Okay, I didn't Not, make the question. Never I had to ask on them. We all the call in the morning. Okay. Now, they are you to Nick's point. The, I did. Yeah, I think you you did created the Dud. No, I did no, not this, bring yeah, up Dud Watch. No, he said you, Bud List. He said Dud List. And I said, <laughs> no, I don't. No, 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 no. Don't put it on He me. wants credit for you everything in now, the world. Uh, now, you want to say all that and get back yeah. in Chiefs Kingdom. That's why you, yeah. you now it went through your mind. Yeah. Here's the deal. Nick's right. They're still averaging 25 points a game. That's seventh in the league. Okay, seventh in the league. Against one of the toughest schedules, if not the toughest. Yeah, yeah tough angles. Well, uh, go ahead. Okay. Through finish. Just well, ignore it. Game. Here's the thing, and I, I kind of alluded to it yesterday. This is what we're going through. Let's put them, they're not on dud watch. How about blah watch? Blah. So you changed it. No, no. The dud is you're not good. Blah is you're not exciting. You're boring. It, they, it, they used to be Mike Tyson okay. early in uh, Holmes' career. Knocking everybody out. Now, they're Floyd Mayweather. But they, oh. they win. They're superior. They're clearly the best. But eh, eh, eh. it's kind of boring. I mean, yeah, that's boring. what Mahomes was saying last year. Yeah. It, it, I want to knock defense. some people out. Hold yeah. on. This is what – that's what I think they, they're actually on. Blah, they were, blah, 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 Last year, they weren't scoring 21 every game. They weren't the seventh highest scoring offense in football. Last year, they were 11 and 6. And they weren't they, that exciting. They, they, no, I understand. And but the – the, the, the part that I think that is so maddening about this is we are acting as if it's not just that they're winning. They are, to Bruce's point, scoring more points than anyone in their conference but Buffalo. They are, they are one of only four teams to break 21 every game this year. Yeah. So if but you're I asking... I, and, and, and I don't, and, I don't and, know the numbers, but... Probably a ton of field. They do get a lot of field goals. I wonder how that compares to other teams. Like they, Mahomes only has the five touchdowns. Five Obviously, touchdowns, Allen's the got leader seven. Has... Darnold's got eight. I mean, eight in three games. Three the, touchdowns is a big yeah, deal. I, you know, I understand. I think five is like tied for fifth most in football. We can check that. It's the, not what we expect the, from the boat. Okay. I mean, that's what this is <laughs> about. It's, is... it's judging him by his own standard okay. that he set. Okay. I think it's dumb, personally. I just think it's dumb. I think that if the question it w was is does Mahomes have an interception problem, that's fair. We can talk about why, and that's judging him by his own standard. Th the seventh highest scoring team in football that has played an incredibly tough schedule that has scored 22, 25, and 27 points this year being like, is the offense broken? No. And I wouldn't say offense is broken. What, what, no, what did we Good say? Watch. Okay. I think it's dumb. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.